sketchbook as it's completed so far so you can see how much I've grown. Um, I like to show growth and um, I think you can definitely tell all my sketches have improved and then we'll do some drawing which I have not done in a few weeks. I really let my drawing practice slip so definitely need to get back to practicing. Here we go. Originally, I started using this sketchbook um, for a class that I took on Domestica. So I did a big brainstorm and some thumbnailing. And you can just see how light everything is. You probably can't really tell what it is at this point because it's so light. Um, this is a sketch I did without a reference. So you'll see I do them uh, periodically just to see where I'm at. But that's the first one that I did kind of without a reference. Just doing some studying in there. This is another class that I took on Domestica. Practicing drawing eyes and noses. Eyes and noses in combination, which I found really difficult. So I practiced it and now it's not so hard. And lips which I do still find fairly difficult to place correctly. And then I started the 100 heads challenge, but um, I didn't finish it. I've actually started it three times, so <laughs> maybe that's a video we make. Some more studies. Um, this is a sketch for watercolor painting I did. I can show you guys that at some other time. Still trying to figure this painting out. I, these are thumbnails for a painting. Um, I had come to my mind straight um, with the concept already fully formed, but I just can't figure out the uh, composition. Some more studies. And this is a, a sketch without a reference, again, that I did um, prior to beginning my study of the Loomis method. So I can show you this one again and see how light all the values are, even the darkest values are very light. And there's just not a lot of form. And then you can tell here, um, I'm not being as hesitant with the values. Still, there's not enough like differentiation between dark and light, I think. Um, but it overall is was an improvement. Um, and here are all my Loomis method studies. They're straight from the book, just copied. And then a sketch of myself for a watercolor portrait I did. A sketch of my husband. Another watercolor portrait. And you can see, even as I'm studying the Loomis method here, and then going to references, and using what I learned in the Loomis method, um, you can definitely, I think, tell a lot of difference um, in the overall accuracy and um, and just the dynamic, you know, the dark and the light. I'm being, I'm getting a lot more confident as I go on. More Loomis. I started to um, fill up this page with little 
studies for my anatomy book, but then I, I got, this is the hardest for me, the, this, um, perspective on the head is really hard for me, so, it's my friend Kate. I sketch for another watercolor portrait. It's actually sitting here on my desk. Um, it's 90% finished. Then some more sketching. Just, um, I'm experimenting now a lot with shading, the, the way I shade, do I hatch, do I blend, do I, you know. And then I think this is the last one that I did. So we're gonna work from here. We're going to be using the Blackwing Audition. Um, it says here on the back the the Blackwing mat, which is the the black pencil, is the softest. Um, so I'm going to start with the 602 to do my sketch first, and then I'll probably I'll, I'll see because that's like um, an HB. So that's the one I'm going to try first and we'll see because I, I kind of um, I have a heavy hand and I don't really like the smeary softer graphite but we'll see we'll see what happens I don't know here they are aren't they pretty oh, they're so nice looking oh yes so let's see the 602 I think it's this one I'm not sure though. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. All right. Let's sharpen this baby up.
yeah. Well, that didn't take as little time as I thought. This is like recording this like three days after um, I started. I drew four heads in three days and I feel pretty frustrated, I guess. The amount of progress I've made and then like backslid from not practicing and now um, it's taking me a really long time to draw portraits again, which is something that I, it's a skill that I built up um, over the past six months. <gasps> it's okay. It's just a loud noise. But anyway, after doing this, I decided I decided to undertake the 100 hits challenge because I just can't. I think it'll help. Now, do I think I'm gonna get 10 heads in 10 days? I'm gonna try. I don't know. I'm gonna have to kind of adjust the way that I do everything to get it done, but Porches are something I really enjoy. And so I want it to be less of a struggle, which is why I started studying the Loomis method in the first place, but it's not really working out. So, or it's just not really working for me. I feel like I'm, I'm concentrating a lot more on like following the rules than I am getting the benefit of having a method like I guess I need to try a different method. Um, but anyway, this rambling takeaway is over now. Please like this video and subscribe if you're interested in watching more of my videos. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs>